Hello and welcome to my process video for UK Scrap Addicts using a large photo. So for this layout I'm using the brand new collection by Maggie Holmes for Crate Paper, it's called Carousel. And just here first of all I'm looking through some 12x12 12 12 papers that I've got from the collection and deciding which ones I'm going to use for my background. And I am going to use this yellow floral piece with the teal one. Um, and then I changed my mind. So yeah, I've pulled out those two pieces of paper as um, I'm going to use those. And I've got the six by eight pad, and I'm flicking through there to see which ones I'm going to layer behind the photograph, just picking a few out. The photograph I've had printed at um, 10 inches by seven inches. So it really is quite large. It almost fills that 12 by 12 sheet. It doesn't leave me a lot of room for embellishing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to embellish um, right on top of the photograph. I've chosen a photograph that has a lot of um, sort of space in the background, just um, the trees and the bridge. Um, it's a photograph taken in a forest local to us. Um, so I'm not too worried about covering up some of the background. So I'm going to bring the embellishment right down onto that photograph. So just picking out some papers here that are going to work. Um, I love that the pad is 6x8 instead of the usual 6x6. Six six. Um, I just love that the sheets of paper are that a little bit bigger and just give you a little bit more um, paper to play with. So I've picked out a floral, really pretty floral piece in gold. And you see there I've now picked out that yellow floral piece, um, which is the same as the 12x12 12 12 that I've already picked for the background. So this is now where you're going to see me go back to the 12x12 12 12 papers because now I need to choose something different because um, I'm not going to use the large yellow piece. Instead, I've picked out a star piece and that's going to create a border around the green. But then, yep, I changed my mind again. I've now decided that the green is going to be the thin border around the edge and the star paper will layer up on top of that. So you just saw me there, I've just gutted the 12x12 12 12 paper so that I've got a piece spare from the middle that I can put to one side and I'll use that on another project some other time. So just trimming the star paper down, just taking a little bit off from one side and from the bottom so that that will layer on but I've still got that little tape piece up on that top right corner of the paper um, which is part of the design. I love that with the crate paper uh, pattern papers they just have all these little extra elements um, just in the background just um, little extra distressed pieces or extra little interest in the background so I'm just sticking down this star paper onto that green floral the reason I changed my mind and decided to use the stars as the background um, really was because that green floral piece is quite busy and I was finding that all the other papers were just getting a little bit lost on it whereas the star paper is a lot plainer um, and it will just help the other elements to pop from the page. So I've just pulled out now, this is the puffy stickers from the carousel collection. Um, and I'm going to use this for um, most of my embellishment. And also I'm going to use that word happy as part of my title. These stickers are actually in the August Lottie Loves Paper kit. So if you're one of our subscribers, you will be getting this lovely pack of stickers in your embellishment kit in August. So just choosing which ones I'm going to use and I'm cutting them out, um, keeping the clear backing sheet on them at the moment so that I can still move them around the page whilst I'm still deciding where I'm going to have them. And I'm going to use that lovely banner piece on the left hand side. Um, I think that says um, delight in everyday moments you know, or something like that. Yes, delight in the everyday moments. And I've just pulled out some other stickers and some other embellishments. These are actually in the July kit. Um, just to see, these just happen to be on my desk where I was working. So I've just pulled those out just to see if I can use any of them on this page. And I'm thinking there about using one of these perspectives from Bramble Fox layered up on top of one of these labels. They're freckled fawn labels. Um, I was just thinking about using that there up on that top right hand corner. Um, but it doesn't make it onto the final layout. The green is just not quite right for the other um, greens and teal colours that I've already got. 
So instead, I have pulled out this um, chipboard sheet. This is from the Summer Lights collection by Pink Paisley. And I've picked out this little camera piece. Um, the camera has got um, pink on it, pink and yellow. Um, and I don't have pink anywhere else um, on my page at all. But um, I do go back later on and choose a piece of paper that's got some pink on it. So you see me here, I'm just cutting out using my die cutting machine. I've just cut out some three by four squares with rounded corners. That is a Project Life um, die that I've used to cut those out. And I'm going to layer those up behind my photograph and I'm going to create one at the top right of the photograph and one on the bottom right hand side of the photograph underneath the title. So just cutting those in half so that I can use them in both areas. And I will create a third embellishment over on that left hand side as well. So just moving everything into place to see where I want them. So here's where I've gone back to that 6x8 pad and I've picked out this pink floral piece. It's got pink and some gold in it. Um, and I'm going to add that into the layering, um, really just to bring in another colour into it. I just need to, I want, really want to use that camera piece and it's got pink in it. Um, but I don't want that to be the only area on the page that's got pink. So by picking out that pattern paper, it, um, it makes, makes the pink more obvious. So just layering those up and popping that underneath the photograph, ready to layer the um, title on top. And I just need to move that yellow floral piece down a little bit um, just to create a bigger area um, because I'm going to make the rest of my title um, using some little tiny um, letter stickers. My title is going to be Your Happy Place. Um, and I just need a bit more space under happy to be able to fit in the word place. So I'm just checking there whether I've got enough space now, which I have. So I've got most of my title into place, um, I've got the camera in place and I've now cut out a pink heart using my die cutting machine again um, and I've cut that out from that same pink paper just to bring some pink up onto that top right hand side. And this flower sticker, this pink flower sticker is from the Chasing Dreams uh, sticker sheet. Uh, Chasing Dreams collection is Maggie Holmes' previous collection, it works really well with the new carousel. The colours are quite similar, so it works really well. I'm just working out where I want those flowers to go. Tucking them under the papers, tucking them under the stickers, just deciding which, which looks best. And in the end, I've decided this sticker does need to go at the top and make that cluster up on the top right hand side a little bit bigger to balance the um, busy title and embellishment cluster down at the right hand side. And just on the edge of the screen there, I'm just sticking this little chipboard bird into place. I do apologise for that shadow over on the left hand side of the screen. Um, I think I've got a little stack of um, stickers and embellishments up on top of my trimmer on the left hand side and it's just caused a shadow off on the screen, so I do apologise for that. And I'm just attaching some little gold um, heart stickers. I move these around quite a little bit, deciding where they're going to go. And in the end, I end up taking them off completely. Um, they were just a bit too flat and um, I felt as if I needed a bit more colour and a little bit more texture. So in the end, um, I end up taking those off and replacing them with some um, different stickers. And just attaching these little star stickers. I love these stars. These again are the carousel um, stickers. I could do with a whole pack of these star stickers because I really, really love them. I love how they look. So, yep, I've removed those gold hearts and I'm just putting some um, coloured hearts on there instead. These are the puffy hearts. Just brings a pop of colour. I didn't have any yellow at the top right and I didn't have much blue over on the left hand side. And I've also added a few enamel dots. I'll leave you with a few stills at the end of the video and thank you so much for watching today.